everybody, um, I'm Sarah from Training Grounds Dromoyne, if you've never met me before. I just thought I'd go through um, some guard retention drills that you can do at home. Um, all you'll need is a wall and yourself and preferably maybe some carpeted floor. Wood should be fine, but it might be a bit rough on the back. Um, yeah, let's get started. What we're basically going to do is I'm going to go through a little warm up and then we're going to go on to some drills and we're going to do 20 of each drill. I'm going to go through them too. Go at your own pace. You might not be able to do 20, you might even do 40. I'm just going to keep going until I do 20 and then you guys can do as many as you like too. Hopefully that'll um, get us moving and also um, we can just learn a few things as we go along. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to start doing is some egg beaters. Okay. So what we're going to do on our backs and our legs are going to spin around like this. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you go the other way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, now we finish with those. Um, we're gonna start warming up our core um, and our legs, okay? So this one's a bit different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna use our elbows on the mat to help us move around. So as we hit, lift our hips up, I want you to start switching your hips to either side, just like this, okay? So we're gonna plant our elbows on the, on the mat here. We're gonna lift up our hips and move them to one side. Use our elbows on the floor to lift up our hips and to switch, okay? Okay, we're gonna do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Oh, that has the abs. Okay, we're just gonna start warming up our spine now. A lot of guard retention is um, sometimes our legs are gonna start to go over our head and be stacked. Obviously, we don't really like being stacked, so we're just gonna warm up our spine um, just to make sure we don't hurt ourselves. So at first, we're just gonna start rocking, okay? We're just gonna hold onto our shins here. We're just gonna start ro rocking onto our shoulders. And as we start to get a bit warmer, we can start to try and extend our legs and touch the mat with our toes, okay? Try and put your legs over your head, okay? Don't worry at first, if they don't start to touch, as you get a bit warmer, they might start to touch the mat. Or even if just one starts to touch the mat, okay? Ready? We're gonna start now, okay. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure, I had a coffee before this. Um, right, what we're going to do now is as we roll over, we're going to roll onto our shoulder, okay? Onto our knees, and then we're going to come back again. So it's going to look something like this. We're going to do it from a few different angles. So we're going to roll, we're going to come up onto our knees here. And then we're going to put this elbow on the, sh on the elbow shoulder on the floor. We're going to look away from it and we're going to roll back, okay? We're going to look, roll back onto our back, okay? Do that again. Roll onto our knees. We're going to put this shoulder on the floor, look away from it, and roll onto our back. 
bum again, okay? So we're gonna do um, 20 of these. Let's go, okay? Look away. One. Other shoulder. Look away from it. Two. This shoulder, look away. Three. Look away. Look away. Put that into count, so I'm gonna go with six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then 10. We're just gonna do 10 of those ones. Okay. Next, um, we're gonna go on to some um, movements that we use in guard retention. So sometimes, we're gonna to have to imagine that we've got an, op um, an opponent here. So, in this scenario, it's called a Bongoa. I don't know how to pronounce it, but let's go with that. Um, we're gonna pretend that our opponent has started to walk around. They've started to throw our hips to one side, um, and they started to move around almost behind us. So they've thrown our hips to this side, and they're starting to come around our back around here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna frame. We don't want them to drop down on top of us. So we're gonna frame, we're gonna put our toes on the mat, stick our bum up a little bit, and we're gonna come back now, regain our guard, they're gonna be there, and we're ready again, okay? So here, they've, they've thrown our legs to one side, we're blocking ourselves on the floor, we've got our elbow on the mat, we're framing, we're gonna push up so our toes Move back so you can see. So my toes move back next to my bum. I'm going to frame, stick my bum up and drop back down. I'm going to drop back in front of them there, okay? So we're going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, okay? So we're throwing our hips to one side. We're going to frame, stick our bum up and drop back down. Frame, stick our bum up and drop back down. Frame, stick our bum up. Drop back down. Frame. Bum up. Dropping back in front of them. Frame. Spread up. Drop back in front. Frame. Put up. Drop back down. Last two. Frame. Bum up. Drop back down. Last one. Frame. Put up. Drop back down. Okay. I'm gonna to go to the other side. Exactly the same. So our opponent has, let me move a little bit further away so you can see. Our opponent has thrown our legs to one side and they're starting to come around behind us. I'm gonna frame, elbow on the mat. So with our elbow there, we're gonna tuck it in so that we can push up onto our shoulder, foot up in the air, and we're gonna drop back and face our opponent, okay. Let's go, we're gonna do 10 on this side. So, frame, stick our butt up, and drop back down. Frame, butt up, drop back down. Frame, drop back down. Frame, butt up, drop back down. It's cool. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Next, um, we are going to go on to something called the high pommel. So. Um, this one we have to imagine that our partner's doing pretty much the same. So they put our hips to one side and they're starting to come around our back. But this time they've trapped his leg. 
So we don't, we don't really have any control of it in terms of being able to just use it to push ourselves off. Because if we push, they're just pushing us back down again. So this time we're gonna use our leg to swing out and pummel our leg back onto one of their shoulders, okay? So with this one, um, people who are really flexible will find this fairly easy. I'm not flexible, so I have to get a bit of momentum going with my hips. So I have to almost like swing my legs out and then back in, okay? So what we're gonna do, you can start sitting up if you like, just to get the momentum going first, and then you can start doing it without the, um, without the sit up. So I'll demonstrate both. I'm gonna use the wall as my opponent. So basically what they've done, they've thrown my legs to one side. I'm always gonna frame because I don't want them to come back down on top of me. This one I'm gonna start sitting up because I'm gonna get the momentum because I'm not flexible. I'm gonna go back down and then I'm gonna bring my legs up and bring it onto them, okay? So just sit up, frame. Okay, so if, it, if you're not swinging, if you're not gonna rock back, we're gonna bring our leg out. You almost wanna bring it to where your hand is, so bring your foot to where your hand is. So we're framing with our hand, we're gonna bring our leg around here, and we're gonna frame back up. And you switch to the other side, bring our leg around here, okay? So we're gonna do 20, but I'm gonna, we're gonna switch sides each time. If you can't switch sides, just do it on one side and then switch over and do it on the other side, okay? Let's go. Okay, frame, bring the leg out, replace the hand, spin around. Frame, bring the leg out, replace the hand, spin around. Frame. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All oh, my abs. Okay. After this one, we're going to go into an invert. So, an invert looks similar to a gongoa, but the time we use it is different. So with the gongoa that we just did, um, this is when our opponents are throwing our legs to one side and they're coming around our back. With the invert, it's when our bottom, the, our, <laughs> our bottom leg is trapped and our opponent is coming around in front of us here, okay? So we can't use this bottom leg to re-pummel or get it back in in some way. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to almost spin underneath our own body, okay? So we're gonna do this with the wall. We're gonna imagine how the wall is our opponent for this. So this one's a bit tricky. Um, don't worry, um, it's not as weird as it looks <laughs> and I'm sure you'll get it. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking at the wall but hopefully you guys can hear me. So the wall's our opponent. They're passing around in front of us. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our top leg as almost like a knee shield. Um, we're gonna push this into the wall to help us lift our hips up, okay? We're also gonna have this bottom leg here. We're gonna bring it really close to our butt and use our toes on the mat to push our butt up in the air. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. We can use our hands on the, the wall to help us as well. Push our knee onto the wall here and we're up in this position, okay? So stick our butt up and now can you see there's a hole here? We're gonna to aim to get our head into this hole. We're gonna throw our head into that hole and then bring the top leg around, okay? 
So the leg that's the knee shield is going to stay on the wall the whole time. The other leg is going to just come around and join it. Okay? Let's go over that one again. So top leg is going to push against the wall. You can use your hand, the top hand too. But bottom leg here, toes next to our butt. And we're going to stick our butt up in the air. Our head now is going to go through this hole. And our foot here is going to stay on the wall. And this one's going to join it. And now we're refacing our opponent, okay? So, we're going to do 20 of these. So I'm going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Just go at your own pace, because I know this one's quite tricky. Um, once you've done this a few times, you'll be able to just speed up, okay? Um, it's better to do it kind of slow and correct than just spinning around like a turtle. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so knee shield against the wall, butt to butt, stick your butt up in the air, throw your head through the hole. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving back into the centre. Knee to wall. They could start, we could start switching sides as well, but actually let's just go with the same side. Knee to wall. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, other side. Let's see how this one goes. Same again. So. Top leg is going to be our knee shield. I can use, I can brace with the my hand on the wall. Stick my butt up. Throw my head into that space. Oh, not as blue. Okay. Don't want to go to the better side. Okay. Knee against the wall. Butt up. Throw my head into that space. Spin around. Seven. Eight. Nine. Whoa. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> no, that last one. Okay. Um. The last one, yay, is gonna be our leg dab. So, um, just FYI, all these moves come from the Lockie and Ari um, instructional that they do on guard retention. So, these are not ones I've come up with. Um, feel free to watch their stuff. It goes into a lot more detail about why and where you use the moves and things like that. It's really good. Um, so, this one is called the leg dab. Um, what their idea with the leg dab is, that is that we don't want our legs in the same plane when we're being passed. It just makes it easier for us to regain guard and also for them not to be able to stack us or push our legs away, okay? So when I say dab, one leg's gonna be straight and one leg's gonna be bent. That's why they call it the dab, but on our legs. Okay, so they're saying that basically we use this move so that when someone's, if we have both our legs like this, 
it's very easy for someone to push our legs away from us and open up this space. And also if our legs are like this, it's very easy for them to stack us as well, okay? Whereas if we have one leg straight and one leg bent, it's very hard and we can also start to move around as well. So if they're starting to push against us in one way, we can switch sides to change up the direction. Okay, so with the leg, leg dab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice rolling onto our back and throwing our legs to each side like this. We're gonna do that 10 times and then we're gonna do 10 times against the wall and we're gonna alternate each, each time on the wall, okay? Um, the wall one's quite tricky, so <laughs> let's give this a go. Okay, so 10 times we're just gonna do on our own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock back onto our back and we're gonna bring our legs around and up. One's gonna be straight and one's gonna be bent. Remember with our legs as well, we don't wanna bring our knees past our center line, okay? Our knees always want to be almost kind of like in line with our shoulders. So when we do the dab, when one leg's bent, one knee's bent, we want to be like this and not like this, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rock back and like this, okay? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, with the one on the wall, we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna bring our legs around and up onto the wall. So the bent leg is gonna be the one that's touching the wall the whole time. The straight leg's gonna be the one that swings around and brings us back to facing our opponent, okay? So remember that part. You might have to figure out how far away from the wall you need to be, so that might take a few times as well. So, let's get going. Wish me luck. Okay. One. Ooh, okay. And we have to reset each time. Two. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Okay, in the last few minutes, we're just gonna do a few um, mobility things. Um, I'm not a pro at this stuff, but um, I think it's really helpful to do some stretching at the end, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of a pigeon stretch. So we're gonna have our front knee bent like this, almost like in a 90 degree angle. This leg can be behind us, doesn't need to be straight out. Don't worry about that one too much. What we're gonna do is aim to keep our shoulder in line with our knee and get our chest down to our shin, okay? So nice straight back, we're gonna come down, okay? I'm gonna hold it here. Switch legs now. So other leg, back nice and straight. Shoulders gonna keep in line with our knee and our chest is gonna lead. And we're gonna 
hinge with our hips and lower down to the back. Okay. Okay, another one that you can do as well is um, a variation of the pigeon as well, but we're going to learn our back. Our foot's going to cross over onto our knee here. I'm going to reach through and grab our shin. And then you can gently start to pull that towards you. This is going to help you with your guard retention because ideally you want your knee coming towards your chest, well, up into your armpit basically, and also your foot coming towards your chest so you can start to high pummel as well. You can hold this one here for as long as you like. Switch sides onto the other side. So we're going to grab our shin. Um, the next one that's um, on the DVD as well. Basically, what we're going to do is going to go into a, a lunge position. So this one is important that we don't let our knees start to flare out or our shoulders twist. But what we're going to aim to do is get our armpit over our knee and our shoulders almost flat onto the mat. As you can see, I can't get very far yet. I'm going to keep that knee turning in as well, not pushing out. And then we can swap over to the other side, hold these for as long as you like. This is just a few ideas for extra stretches and mobility that you might want to do. So, over the armpit here, I'm going to start to push our shoulders towards the mat. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, this was guard retention drills. I hope you found those um, useful. Like I said, they're all on Lockie and Ari's um, in instructional on guard retention. So feel free to go on there and find out a bit more detail about the whys and the whens. Um, I just thought these would be good for you to get moving at home. Um, give them a go. Let me know how it goes. Hopefully your core hurts as much as mine does. Okay, bye.